The next point on the list, I think, is um, when our law, of, when we have sexual injuries, our law of attraction brings us perhaps difficulties or a lack of uh, orgasm or sexual response. So, so how many of? And this is a personal question, ladies, and you don't have to put up your hand if you don't want to. <laughs> how many of you ladies find it difficult to orgasm? Just on my ladies. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot more that find it too. They didn't put up their hand, no, that's fine. How many of you guys find it difficult to achieve to to remain potent or have a problem with impotence? Okay, so a few. How many of you find that it takes a long time for you to orgasm? Like not five minutes, but maybe half an hour or longer. Right? How many of you find? How many of you find? Fraser that, is panning the. <laughs> how many of you find that uh, um, when you do orgasm, it doesn't feel satisfactory? Right. How many of you find that uh, when you, like, when you masturbate, it only takes a short time to orgasm? But when you interact with a person, it takes a much longer time to orgasm. Everyone. <laughs> it just seemed like suddenly all of these hands went up. There's a lot of spirits holding your hands up. <laughs> it's quite funny, actually. Where did my rubber go? Where did my rubber go? <laughs> I meant that in the fury of rubber. <laughs> All right. Every single sexual problem that we have with regard to impotence, lack of orgasm, time, duration, short, you know, we come too soon or too long, or our enjoyment of all of that, is all to do with emotions. All of it's to do with emotions. It's got nothing to do with your physical body. So the Viagra works because it actually just does something to your physical body, but it doesn't change the soul. So you're going to need to keep taking Viagra. Right? Or whatever other type of drug you may take to enhance the experience. The best way to enhance the experience is to deal with the soul-based emotions that cause the experience to not be as good as it could be. So if your law of attraction is bringing you Sexual, a lack of sexual response, or or things being too fast, that you anything that annoys you in your sexual life, then look at it sincerely as emotional injuries regarding my sexual identity. Does that make sense? Look at it that way. Now, in the second session, we'll be talking about how to deal with those things. But for now, if you can just be aware of them, because when it, when you start being aware of them, it's amazing how things change, even from a day-to-day -day basis. How many of you have found that today sex was good, but in two days' time when you had sex again, it didn't seem to be as good and you don't really know why? How many of you find that? Quite a few, right? How it seems to fluctuate, ebb and flow, what's going on? What's going on is there's emotions influencing each interaction. Does that make sense? At some point, too, you will get to the point where you no longer have a desire for sexual interaction without, with anyone other than your soulmate. So you can actually try to have sex with someone else other than your soulmate, and it will fail every time. That sounds like a really good place to be. It can be quite embarrassing. <laughs> Jen? You're talking from male perspective. I'm talking about female and male perspective. Yeah, both perspectives. Remember, God, God hasn't designed this to be different for the male and different for the female, actually. So, you know, there's one of the biggest misconceptions about sex that's on this planet is that everything is different for the male and different for the female. There are just different emotions inside of each one affecting the sex act. And it's the key is dealing with those emotions. So for a woman, they won't reach a state of arousal with anyone but their soulmate. 
And for a male, they won't even become erect with anyone other than their side. Um, uh, you, you answered part of the question um, just before I was going to ask about uh, my emotional state. One day I'm feeling really good, so I'll have a good sexual experience. And two days later I'm not feeling very nice, so it's not as good. Yep. But what about hormones? What about women with their cycles and also men? Do hormones come into play with that at all? It's all emotional. They're all driven by your emotions anyway. So all the hormones are driven system. by the emotions anyway, even if you are in a menstrual cycle or, yeah? Okay, thank you. I, I, yeah, I think my menstrual cycle is totally affected by my emotions. I've experienced that recently as well. The key is that when you focus on the emotions, you'll start noticing why things are changing. When you focus on the physiological response, you don't notice your emotions, and so you don't notice why everything's changing. The key is if you can bring yourself back to every single thing being an emotional issue, you'll soon see what the core is of the emotion, what the core emotion is, because you'll soon, it'll soon come to your mind, generally. Particularly if you pray about it, it generally just comes to your mind straight away. So often, often, We've had to abandon the sex act, myself and Mary, in preference of dealing with the emotion that just comes up. And actually, what's the emotion? Like it might have been anger for her, or it might have been fe my feeling disconnected, or whatever. And we work through the emotion straight away, right there and then. Yeah, and I would say that my sexual experience has altered greatly according when I started dealing with my emotions. So it happens quite rapidly, especially if you remain emotion well, yeah, if you remain emotionally open during sex. So you may remain emotionally open during sex and find this huge rage come apart over you. Now obviously if you're with a man who's sensitive to that, he's probably not one to keep doing what he's doing, right? With you in this huge rage. But allow yourself to feel this huge rage coming over you and connect with what it's about. Even, you can even scream and yell about it. You may have a feeling of pain come over you all of a sudden from, you know, from your sexual organs, for example. Let yourself feel that pain and cry or scream about the pain. Let yourself do that, right? Now, this is where a lot of people don't want to go, isn't it? They want the sex act to be just perfect every time, and so we try to manage that emotionally. But if we just allow the emotions to come up every time, what happens the next time you have sex, it'll be far more pleasurable because that causal emotion has left you. It's like everything on the divine love path. You've just got to give up control. 